Welcome back to the Game View on the Athletic Center here at Denver Academy. Second half of about ready to get underway between the front range Christian Falcons and your Denver Academy Mustangs, who currently hold a 27-20 lead entering the second half. And it was a back and forth first half. A lot of drama, a lot of excitement. And hopefully the Mustangs make this a little less exciting and a little more of an offensive powerhouse. As Allen goes up for three to start the second half. Off the rim. Allen picks that pass off though. Doesn't make doesn't make the layup and rebounded by front range. As they're gonna bring it up and look to open up the scoring for the second half. And DJ Harris back in. Here for senior night looks like they're rolling with the starters. Monash. Harris the seniors, uh, Joel Decker the junior, and the dynamic freshman duo of Riley Allen and Luke Stanley. That pass in the sand. Allen for three. Bang! Now Riley Allen opens up the scoring for the Mustangs. It's 30 to 20, a 10 point lead for the Mustangs. And you know, with how this game has gone, that can't really feel secure. DJ Harris picks it off, goes in, drives up towards the basket, off the rim. And you gotta feel it if he make when he makes a shot tonight. This place is going to lose stuff. Stanley up for three, but it goes off of the rim. Things bench full of energy tonight. DJ Harris get, picks it off, and it's a jump ball. It's gonna go away of the Falcons, but still good. DJ Harris getting aggressive. Good stuff from the freshman. Has a chance. And another jump. And this time it's going to be the Mustangs ball. Timeout taken. By the Mustangs. Timeout taken by the front range. Great start. Yeah. 
position trying to call for a timeout, but it's going to be a shooting foul for Nolan Murray. I gotta feel like Nolan Martin actually is not gonna get the end of that nickname Nolan for the rest of the, the rest of the year. The first shot goes up. And the first shot missed, but Joel Decker rebounds it. And eventually the ball's gonna get loose and into the hands of the Falcons. Which Stanley rips it away, but jump ball called, and it's going to be the Mustangs ball. What an ex what an exciting start to the second half we've had. It's not, it may not be as close as the first half, but it's still just as much drama. Either team could win this, and, excuse me, it's the uh, visitor's ball. Front edge Christian, as they're looking to open up. And, oh, out of bounds there. Here's the arrows work, right? Uh, that's, that's one of those things that's hard to know uh, which way the arrow is supposed to be going. Um, I've messed that one up a fair few times myself. As that was passed in. Goes up for it. Goes in, goes up for it, and slaughtered away by Monarch, but right into the hands of the player, the front range Christian. Three pointer in and out of the rim. Joel Decker and it's a jump ball. Hey! It's the Mustangs ball. Joel Decker inbounds it to Luke Stanley. Delivered to the bench for front for the Falcons as I guess either too rowdy or unsportsmanlike. <laughs> oh, nice. Up for three. Rebounded by Riley Allen though. Still out behind the line. Goes up for two. Mid-ranger. And it's gonna find the net. 34-22 Mustangs. Stanley up for three. Bang! Luke Stanley for three! And this crowd is hyped! Timeout called. And looks like that's going to do it for uh, DJ Harris's home career. Um, just a. Uh, wow. What, what a human being, what a what an athlete. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to miss that guy. Same with Nolan. No, I think DJ's got a, a special place in the lore. DA being the uh, first state champion, as you can see with the banner. <laughs> what a game this is that I need. Mean. I haven't seen the Mustangs, you know, they're, they're feeling good, they are having fun, the bench is electric. We haven't even, we haven't seen them be this electric all season. It's loud, it's electric, and it's, you know, the bench is in the stadium, and this is what Mustangs basketball has been trying to get, you feel like, all season. And it comes in their last home game, they're on the Ninth home game of the season, I believe. As that's going to be inbounded by Frank Christian. Full court pass, looking. Frank Christian, that picked off, bound by Joel Decker. My mistake, DJ Harris, not pulled. Um, we'll let you know when I pull him. It'll. Luke Stanley goes up for it. Probably going to be one of those ceremonial pulls. 
That ball out to Allen. Burnash up for three. Ah, for the front of the rim again. For Nolan Burnash.
Mustang's ball. Chris Jansen finds Luke Stanley. Good, good vision there. Stanley up for three. Bang! Luke Stanley for three as the cloud chants Luke's name. Luke Stanley picks that one off. Ball loose, but still Riley Allen with the ball. Noel Monash drives in towards the basket. Look, but gets it back. And it goes out of bounds. But the Mustang's ball. Two and a half minutes left here. Allen to Stanley. Stanley driving it towards the basket. going to be inbounding. We are not shooting on that one. Chris Jansen inbounding right underneath the Mustangs who got to hope, hope for some points here. Jansen Monash out deep. Jansen in the corner. Stanley. Back to Monash. Out top of the arc. Goes in. Finds Jansen. Jansen up for three. And off the rim. And right into the waiting hands. Good first shot, that shot up, off the rim, Chris Jansen gets a hand on it but not able to pull it, come up with the rebound. Up and in, 40 to 29. Allen up for three. Oh, off the rim, a lot of that tonight. In the paint makes it. 42 to 29 Mustangs. And Jason Nutter standing there gets it as Riley Allen goes in, goes up with it. And he finds the net. Couple more points for the Mustangs. Shot goes up, and that shot 
goes in. 45-33, nice little layup there. So. Nash thought about it. Over to Harris. Harris drives in. Harris goes up with it. And it's a and TJ Harris goes to the line looking to get a couple of free throws. Jansen put her three from the corner. Doesn't make it. Joel Decker rebounds it in the paint, and it's a double drip, I believe. Not sure what that was. Um, kind of hard to tell if Doug was happy or mad, mad about that, as it typically is. But Mustang's ball nonetheless. Timeout call by the Falcons. Only one left. Mustangs only have had to use one timeout tonight. <laughs> Mustangs have only used one. Front range only has one left. Kind of poetic. Travel to Skyview Academy next Tuesday and finish the season at, at current uh, league leaders Heritage Christian up in Fort Collins on Thursday evening. That'll end the regular season for the Mustangs before the playoffs begin on the week on the following week. Also beginning the following week, baseball Mustangs baseball season gets gets started with with uh, the preseason beginning opening day for the Mustangs on April 11th against Lions High School, followed by doubleheader on March 15th against Skyview Academy. That's your Mustang, that's uh, your Mustangs looking ahead. Chris Jansen, hey, you can inbound it. Finds Riley Allen. Allen, nice find Chris Jansen. 
drives in towards the basket, just flings it out in the vain hope of finding someone, but it stays in bounds nonetheless, which keeps the clock running, which is appreciated. Uh, I swear the fourth quarter in that junior varsity game felt like it took 45 minutes and the clock out actually took about half an hour. But that shot's gonna find the net for the Falcons. And Monash brings it up. Looking to add to the Mustangs total tonight it is Monash. Goes up for it. Nothing off the rim, not an air ball. Back shot up. And Joel Decker gonna get the rebound right to DJ Harris. DJ Harris tries to find Chris Jansen. Chris Jansen wasn't expecting it though, and the ball's gonna roll out. And once again, it is uh, going to be Front Range's ball, 48 to 35. With six minutes left. Driving in, goes up with it, blocked, DJ Harris gets the rebound. Ball loose though, ball knocks loose, DJ, it's a jump ball, DJ Harris, so aggressive, truly, why, and it makes you wonder, why hasn't he played as much this season as he has tonight, great on, great defensive player for the Mustangs. Even if the jump ball goes, the lay of front range Christian, still good to see that. Ball up, and ball in 48-37, Mustangs up by 11 with six and a half left. Very doable uh, comeback for front range. But would be heartbreaking bonus. Looking for someone in the corner. Drives, driving towards the basket. Goes up and finds the net. Two points for Nolan Monash. Well, the Mustangs captain. And that is going to be a foul on the Mustangs. And looks like he's going to be shooting. Trying to find it out, trying to find someone else. Mine goes up with the shot. Off the rim, rebounded by Joel Decker over to Luke Stanley. Finds Riley on up by mid-quarter. Noel Monash, ball loose. Recovered quite nicely, Al Stanley for three. Off the rim, off the backboard, and then ends up not falling. Five and a half minutes left in this game. Mustangs lead by 13. Make that 11.
champions. No, no, no. That's a couple of free throws. Oh! 